and welcome back to my channel today i will be showing you guys how to make jamaican's national dish we are going to be making some aki and salt fish to get started here i have some caught salt fish and i have the can aki but if you have the fresh aki you can go ahead and use that i have some red and green bell pepper some onions and tomatoes i have garlic and ginger green onions and cilantro fresh thyme green seasoning i have complete seasoning black pepper old bay seasoning and all-purpose seasoning to get started we are going to boil our salt fish i did rinse the salt fish in the sink first before i add it to the pot with water we're going to boil it for about 15 minutes and then i'll show you guys the next step Next, we're going to strain the salt fish and get rid of that salted water. And then we will rinse the salt fish numerous amount of times until I feel like the salt has been removed from the fish. This is the method that I like to use, but if you want to boil your salt fish two and three times, you can go right ahead and do that. I like to break my salt fish up while i run it over cold water and that gets rid of most of the salt it's the most effective way for me but you can go ahead and do it the way you you know prefer or desire So once most of the salt has been removed, we are going to squeeze a half of a lime onto the salt fish. We want to get rid of any smells and it also helps to combat the salt. So we'll squeeze the limes and then we will squeeze our salt fish dry and place it into our mixing bowl. Next, we'll lightly season the fish with my green seasoning. This has everything in it, so it's great for this recipe. We'll mix it in and then we'll set aside. In my preheated pot, we'll melt two tablespoons of butter. Next, we'll add the onions, tomatoes, bell peppers, we'll add our garlic and ginger, and our thyme. We'll also add the seasonings so we can flavor and add taste to the dish. Then we'll let this go for about three minutes, just so they all can release those flavors and aromatics. Now that our veggies are nice and translucent, we will now go in with our salt fish. We'll add this in, we'll mix until well combined, and then we'll let it go for about two to three minutes. We just want the salt fish to absorb all those flavors. We don't need to add anything else here because the salt fish already has a little bit of salt and we already seasoned our vegetables. So guys, look what I have here sizzling. In Jamaica, they call this fried dumplings, but in Guyana, we call it fried bakes. I will share the recipe with you guys another day, but today we'll be having this with our aki and salt fish. So at this point, we will now add our aki here and we'll add our green onions and cilantro. Now guys, you have to be very gentle with this part because this kind of aki especially the one in the can is super fragile 
and it's easy to break and you don't want it crushed up in the dish. So you want to fold it gently and just take your time. Just have patience with it and we'll fold it gently and then we will um, let it go for about three minutes on low heat and then we'll be ready to serve. Now guys, don't come for me in the comments, please. This was already broken up when I opened the can, but I tried my best to work with what I have, you know? So yeah, we let this go for about three minutes and then we'll be ready to serve. And the last thing I added off camera, guys, was a pinch more of black pepper. And this is it, guys. This is the finished product of my ackee and salt fish. Okay, guys, so this is how I make a super delicious and flavorful ackee and salt fish. Like I said before, I will be enjoying this with some fried dumplings or fried bakes. And I do hope you guys give the recipe a try if you enjoy my video. Please guys, give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment down below. And don't forget guys, hit the subscribe button for me. I will be leaving all the ingredients and measurements down in my description box. And I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Enjoy!